Ever since man's been on earth, we've always had wars. And ever since there have been wars, there have always been elite warriors. In the Middle Ages, these warriors became known as knights. In the early 20th century, these knights took to the skies. The first fighter pilots were society's privileged. The rich playboys, the dukes, the barons, those who could afford the luxury of knowing how to fly. It wasn't long until fate began to weed out the unworthy. Those pilots that were worth their salt became aces. Those that weren't became their prey. I'm Major Ken Davis, and this is my story. It's the story of my experience as a fighter pilot in Europe, both during and after the Second World War. The story begins in 1939, when I was a senior at Baton Rouge High School. Life was good. My dad had a very successful engineering firm in Baton Rouge. Once I graduated from high school, I was off to LSU to get my engineering degree. And once I had that, I'd become a partner in my dad's firm. Also, my dad had bought a 1937 Piper Cub, so I was able to get my pilot's license before I even graduated from high school. And on top of that, I was able to win the hand and heart of the girl that I had been crazy about since elementary school. My life was great in 1939, but that was before the war came along. The next fall, I started my studies at Louisiana State University, which just happened to be right across the lake from my house. I was two years into my four-year degree when war broke up, and I was able to graduate a year early, probably because of the experience I gained from working at the family's engineering firm. When I graduated, rather than join the firm, I felt compelled to serve my country in its time of war. But when I went to join, they said they needed pilots more than engineers, and since I was already a pilot, that's how I served. Flying was second nature to me. I'd been doing it since I was a kid. So when they assigned me to bomber escort over Europe, it wasn't long before I became an ace. It wasn't too much longer than that that I became a double ace. This is where things got interesting. Towards the end of the war, the United States formed a project called Operation Paperclip. It was their mission to analyze captured German technology. Since I shot down some of the Germans' most advanced aircraft and I had an engineering degree, they asked me to join their operation. The things that I saw and the people that I met were absolutely astounding. And as fate would have it, the Luftwaffe pilot they assigned to teach me to fly their fighter jet, the ME-262, was a pilot that shot me down. Who would have imagined we'd become buddies? 